Hi everyone, welcome back to my heavenly babies and welcome back to Baby Talk Tuesday. Let's talk baby. So these are the babies here I currently have up for sale right now. We're gonna talk about each one again, all in one video because I'm gonna drop the price on them. As you see, I have their boxes that they were in. They're already wrapped. I'm gonna unwrap them and show you again. And then we're gonna go over this one here. This is a cloth body. She is also um, a new baby. Um, I'll go over and just explain all that and everything that she's coming with, or she can come differently for a different price. So let's go over all that. These two here are two full body silicone boys. I have painted both of them. This one is a newborn size. This one is a preemie size, but a very good preemie size. This is the stuff this one will come home with, and this is the one that'll come home with that. They're flat rate, so the flat rate price is $22 and some change, uh, so roughly $23 shipping. Um, but I wanna go over the prices and just talk. This one was done as a recreation of my son, so he was done more in red tones because my son was born premature, and um, but a very big size baby. This is exactly the size he was. He was like 19 and 3 4 inches. This baby is... Uh, 18 and a half inches, I believe. I'll put all the information up on as I go through each baby. Uh, but the weight was like uh, six pounds, some ounces, or at seven pounds, and my son was almost seven pounds. So he was a big preemie. But he was born very, um, you know, because he was premature, he was born in a very red tone. So I was recreating my son. Had some difficulties with it, so it is being sold as a boo-boo baby. There was a few spots that I had peeled. I have sealed them, fixed them, everything. Bought another baby prior to this because I wasn't sure what I was going to do if I was just going to give it to like one of my nieces and just, you know, just let her let this baby go. But I was able to fix it when I did. I already had the other one and it was past the 30 days. So I thought, well, I'll just change the eye color on it and give it black eyebrows since my son was a blonde. And we'll just, you know, did a few features to him differently and then go ahead and just let somebody else enjoy this baby. So when you see him and he's in those red tones, that's because I was recreating my own son. And then this one here is a preemie, a 14 inch, but a very good size. This one wears preemie clothes. So he's a chunker. So I hope you guys will love him. And he, these babies are coming out of my collection. I am starting a business um, painting and selling, uh, you know, buying, painting and selling the uh, silicone, full body silicone babies uh, from Amazon and eBay and other sites that I've looked at that I've gotten babies from because um, I'm just more into the silicone and I really enjoy it. So that's one of you selling. But these ones came out of my collection. They're just coming out because I'll explain each one. But this one here, um, I just am not into cloth body babies. It's just because my situation, I had lost out on the newborn stage with my son because I ended up in the hospital. In the very beginning of after I delivered him, I was having signs of it before, but they didn't know it was the heart. I have what's called postpartum cardiomyopathy. Okay, I'm doing great now, but in the beginning, I was in the hospital for a very long time. When I came home, I really couldn't do much with my baby. I needed a lot of help with him. By the time I could, he was then, you know, six to nine months old. So I missed out on the newborn stage. So I like silicone so you can bathe them and do all the things I couldn't do with my son. But anyways, I had gotten this one brand new. My friend had put this baby together and then um, asked if I wanted her. And I did, you know, just wasn't sure when I got her. I just you know, just never bonded with her. She's beautiful, but I just never bonded with her being a silicone because I couldn't, I mean, um, a cloth body. I just could never do anything with her, bather and stuff like that. And it's not the age I like too. I like the newborn babies as well, preemie to newborn. That's what I really like. So instead of just keeping her in the back room covered in my bassinet, I thought, you know what? I'm going to let her go. I'm going to let her go. And she just has the biggest wardrobe and the biggest accessories that come with her and all of that. And I'll talk about the price and stuff. So I originally started her at $1,000 um, with everything she's coming with. It's like between 50 to 75 items of clothing. Um, a lot of them, um, you know, pieces were new and all that. I didn't get a chance to do all that because I really didn't bond with her. So I didn't do a lot with her. But I got a lot of stuff. I've got like 25 brand new diapers because she's the only one that wears the size she does. She's 6 to 12 month in size that she wears. None of the other babies I have wear that size. So it's all going to go with her. She's got some modified pacifiers. She's got some unmodified that can be modified. I'm sending extra magnets. There's bottles. There's toys. There's spoons. There's um, a uh, snowsuit for her. There's a blanket she'll be wrapped in. Um, a uh, uh, diaper on her head, of course, for protection. She does have a 
um, magnetic mouth and she's got a magnetic pacifier here. This whole outfit she's going to come home in and she's got a magnet in her head as well. So I'm sending extra bows so that you can buy bows. That's really the only thing I don't have. There's a few head pieces coming with her, but you'll just buy some bows and put the magnets on it. Modify them so you can put those in her hair. She's fully rooted. She's got a beautiful auburn hair. She's got green eyes. I'll take this out so you can see her beautiful face. Um, and like I said, she's a six to nine month old and just done very well. She might need a little bit of a matte finish done to her. Um, it wasn't my doings when I got her. She still had a little bit of a shine. So it probably just wasn't finished as well. Um, but um, she has three quarter limbs and just a beautiful baby. Her paint job is gorgeous. She's got veining. She's got it all, you guys. She's got beautiful eyebrows. I'm going to get up close and show it to you. Her face, but she's gorgeous. Her nail beds are all done. Her toes are all done. And like I said, just a beautiful paint job on her, fully rooted, a beautiful hair and all of that. So, yeah. So this one, I originally wanted 1000 with the whole, um, all the accessories. Then I dropped it to 800 I'm going to drop it one more time to 600 Again, free shipping. And that shipping is going to be very expensive, but only within the U.S., you guys. I will do the free shipping within the U.S. I've already looked into it. It's over $100 worth of stuff that I'm sending with it because the box is going to be heavy. So it'll be her at almost 10 pounds. She's 27 inches and 9.5 pounds. And then... um all the clothing and everything coming with her, she is going to be over a hundred. I'm gonna pay that. So basically, when you pay six hundred, I'm losing over a hundred dollars on the deal because I'm letting all of that go with. Or, or there's another deal. I can put her in a flat rate now. Yes, you're probably thinking, how does she fit in a flat rate? She can because her legs are very flexible. You know, these uh, reborns. You know, you can get their legs up. So as she would be boxed like that. Then I would still wrap her, guys in a uh, blanket around her. Of course, her hands will be in the front there. And um, I will wrap her like that and she'll have the diaper on the head and all of that and she'll be wrapped nice. I will send just a couple items in what she's wearing, the nook, a few extra uh, modified nooks. The, I'll send the magnets with it and because that's little to put it in there and I'll send a couple diapers with her and then I can do it flat rate and then I will let her go for uh, $400. 400 but then you'll have to pay the shipping on that one. That one is $22 in some sense, so we just say $423, and she'll come with a few items, but in a flat rate, so it makes it a little bit cheaper for you guys than, you know, from the, um, not a little bit, quite a bit, because it was, you know, I said uh, 1000 then I dropped it to six, and I'm dropping it to, um, I mean, eight, and then I'm dropping it to six now with all the clothing and accessories, and I pay the shipping within the United States, or you can buy her in a flat rate for 400 and she'll only come with a few items then that I explained. Um, again, what she's wearing. This is a brand new outfit. This outfit, I had tore the tags off. If you watch a video she was in, I can link that video down in the comment section. You see me tear the tag off. The outfit was in like $54 or $56 for this outfit. So it's a very expensive outfit. I don't remember the brand on this. What is the brand? It's just one year it's called. Uh, I think is the name of the company. And this is a... Uh, what size is this? This is a three to six month she's wearing, but it would fit her so great. It's got butterflies on it, butterflies on the feet and all that. So she'll come in this, this, and this nook. It goes in the dark. And then I'll send a few more, like I said, a few diapers, um, like maybe two more items of clothing, maybe a onesie. Uh, she'll be wrapped in a blanket, like I said, in a... Um, diaper on her head and maybe if I could squeeze a bottle in there. I will send a few things with it. Then you can have her at 400 or or another deal. If there's somebody out there, I didn't even think about to ask about this. If there's anybody out there that would like to trade a baby, trade for her, but I am looking for silicone. Now, I know you're going to say, well, that's not a good deal. You're getting the better deal for a silicone. I don't even care if it's a cheaper silicone or if it's a silicone you've had for a long time. Um, if there's, you know, uh, maybe it might be somewhat of a, like some peeling or stuff. I can fix all that. Uh, maybe some of the hair is falling out. I can reroute all of that. If I like the baby and it is silicone and it is a newborn baby, I don't want any older than a newborn baby, um, then I may consider doing a trade with somebody, okay? So we'll talk. If you want to trade, I would trade her just, you know, with, with this one here. I would do a trade and possibly a trade with this one. We'll talk when we get to that one. But that's this one. So let me get up close and just show you her, her beautiful face. And I want to make sure she gets in good. So there's her beautiful face, magnetic mouth. Um, she's got the magnetic in the head for bows. She's got beautiful earrings in. I, I paid a lot for these. I got them at Target. They are real, uh, real uh, sterling silver and Sawaski crystal. So I paid like $29. I mean, you guys can look at those earrings. It came in a three pack. I put the biggest ones in her. So she's got good earrings and all that. 
There's her finger, so you can see the tips on it. Hopefully you can see how nice the tips are. I'm not going to completely get her undressed. I've already done a video on that, so I'm going to link that video in the comment section so you can look at it. But she has three-quarter limbs, so it goes to here on her, and the legs go to here on her with the cloth body, and the rest is vinyl, okay? She is coming in this. She's got socks on. They're ruffled socks underneath, and she also has a... Um, uh, onesie on her too, but look at that beautiful face, you guys. I named her Aurora Star, and look at the hair, you guys. She's got curly hair, full rooted hair. It's just gorgeous. That all those curls might got a little bit messed up, but yeah, it's just she's just a doll, a doll baby. I love her so much, but I just never grew up on with her. I don't think she's ugly or something's wrong with her. There's nothing wrong with her at all. She, in fact, still smells like a brand new baby. She does. She's got that new smell because, like I said, I didn't do anything with her. Just kept her in the back. This is a smoke-free home. Um, not dust-free, of course, but she is dust-free because I keep a blanket over that bassinet. And then, of course, I have a dog, but she's a Morky. If you look at Morkies, they don't have fur. They have hair, and she doesn't shed. She has to be cut. So there's no hair on the babies. You know, they, they just stay in really good condition. And, and if you... Um, know me and came over from keep a keto i've done videos on how i house clean i'm a spotless housekeeper too so these babies are very clean and nice and of course these two um i got painted and ready to go they're brand new too um this one i had in my collection for just a short little while i probably changed them once or twice in a video and that was it uh, but we'll go over that and that was before i painted them then i painted them and now he's going for sale after i painted him uh, but anyway, so that's for her. That's her deal. So, like I said, she was one thousand with the whole collection of clothing and accessories. I dropped it to eight hundred with the clothing, clothing and accessories. Again, free shipping within the United States. I'm dropping it again from the one thousand to eight hundred to six hundred with all of the accessories and clothing. If you want that, I will pay the shipping, or you can have her in a flat rate with just a few items that I'll throw in there for $400 or a trade. If you guys want to do a trade, because like, you know, I'm, I was originally asking, and you guys know these, these reborns now, the cloth bodies are going for much more, especially her size, much more. I think the cheapest people are saying is like 600. Maybe you can get one that's like, um, not a real one. This is a real one. I do not have the COA on this one. I'm sorry. My friend after, um, my friend had done this one, moved and, you know, just cannot get the hands on the COA. I'm, I'm very sorry about that, but it is legit. I wouldn't lie. It is legit. I'm sorry about that. Um, he is trying to find it for me, but um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people might recognize this kit because a lot of you Reborns out there probably know this kit. I don't know the kit, um, and he can't remember because it was a while ago when he made this kit, and I got it um, in the year uh, Christmas of 2021, 20, I believe I got her, and just had her, or was it 2022? 2022, I believe it was, or Christmas. No, that was last year. Okay, so 2021 is when I got her. I put her in a couple outfits, and I said I put her away, never did nothing with her, because then I got my Octavia through my friend, and then I just was so drawn to the uh, silicone baby, so I really never did nothing with her then, and I thought after a while, I gotta let her sell. So she's just been sitting back there over a year, you guys, and I did a few videos to show her how beautiful she is, but yeah, so if you're willing for that, so dropping it, like I said, to the 600 now with the stuff, free shipping, I don't mean to keep repeating myself, within the United States, free shipping, or you can have her for 400 in a flat rate, you gotta pay the flat rate shipping then, again, because I'm dropping it all the way to 400, so it'd be 423, we'll just say, $423, it'd be 422 and some change. Um, but I can let you guys know that. Um, and or we could do a trade. If you're willing to do a trade, if you had a silicone that you're just not interested anymore, willing to let the silicone go, then you know, but I want it to be full body silicone, you know, even if it's one of the cheaper Amazon ones. If I like it and interested, in it, I may be willing to do the deal with you guys. And then again, she'll be coming flat rate then um, without the clothing and all that flat rate, and you guys would do the same thing and have to pay the flat rate to me for the baby. So we'll just do it that way. Um, I take PayPal. I take um, uh, Cash App or even Walmart to Walmart. If you guys want to do it that way, that can be done as well. But that's the ways that I'm taking the payments to. So that's Aurora. And we're going to go ahead and set her aside now. And um, like I said, I don't want to make the video too long. We'll leave the little nook out just so you guys can see her beautiful face. Okay. Then this little guy here, we'll unwrap him. I'm going to wrap him again. Um, hopefully, I won't have to do any more videos. Hopefully, he'll just, you know, sell um, but he's coming in this brand new flannel blanket that I have him wrapped in. I show that in the original video on showing him. I bought brand new blankets for both of them. They're flannel from Walmart. They're Gerber blankets. He's going to be wrapped in this and the outfit he's wearing in that ribbon. And I've got the uh, um, uh, K 
cat dog. Diaper on the head. I've got little mitts on the baby here. The outfit is from Walmart. The whole outfit is new. He's got little socks. They're preemie socks. He's got a brand new Disney outfit on. I'll get up close when I show his face. And he's got the little mitts on the hands. And then, of course, the diaper on the face. I will take it off. He's also coming with the pacifier in his mouth. And it is a glow-in-the-dark pacifier. He's got the hat. He is just gorgeous. He is a blue-eyed baby. If you guys want, I do have green eyes that I can send with it too because I use the brown-eyed one. So I will send both this and the green eyes. I have a green set that fit him. I'll send it so you can choose if you want him green-eyed or blue-eyed. So I'll send that with as well for him. And I'm just going to take off the little mitts just so you can see his hands. Um, you know, just part of what I've done. Uh, please go back into that video and see I show him. I'll show pictures. I actually will show a picture. Um, I would have already done it. Uh, I will do it with Aurora um, showing her cloth body and then kind of showing like some of her details like in the cloth body with all the clothes on. And then I'll show him right now side by side. But I'll just get up close and just show you guys um, him. But he's got the bib on. That's new. The pacifier is new. That's from Walmart. And um, he is just a cutie pie, you guys, a cutie pie. He is a 30 EcoFlex. He is full silicone, 14 inches, and he weighs uh, 3 pounds, 3.43 pounds. And look at that paint job I did. Look at how adorable he is, you guys. He's got the little milk spots. I did do that on the, the sides of his nose and on the, little, the face here and a little bit on the chin. I emphasized on his uh, dimples, and I gave him a little mole, a Marilyn mole, and I painted his eyebrows. So he's gorgeous, and he comes with the blue eyes, or you can have the green. Like I said, there's his beautiful ears. You can see the beautiful paint job, the veining I did on him up close. I did really great on the veining and the blushing on him. He is a bald baby. He's coming as a bald baby, but he is, you know, in perfect condition. So, uh, and he's an Eco 30 Flex. And then there's his little hands. This one's fisted, and he's got the nail done there. That's just one that shows... Over here, he's got it, you know, clenched, fisted, and all the nails are done there, and the little pinky sticking out, and that one's done, too. I painted that with the little tips on it. And, yeah, he is just a beautiful, beautiful baby boy. He um, just, you know, I when I look at him, I can't help but just, you know, fall in love with him. I have this baby, and that's why I'm letting this one go, because I just wanted the EcoFlex to be the same. But I, I'm madly in love with these babies. They are just so adorable. And in some form... Um, he kind of has the look of like a Down syndrome baby, which made me fall in love more. Because when I used to work at my grandparents' pumpkin patch, the uh, Down syndrome, uh, you know, people would come in with the people, you know, working with them. And they were like little kids, even though they were adults. And that made my, my day, made my day. And that's kind of what this baby gives me the feel. I don't know if it was ever made to look like that. I don't know. But that's what it kind of gives me the feel. And oh, I just love him. He's got little feet, sirs, and that's why I got preemies on him. He's got a preemie socks. He got a preemie outfit. He does have a onesie on as well. So he gets the brand new onesie, the brand new outfit, the brand new bib, the hat, the mitts that he's coming with. He's got the socks, the blanket, um, the, the wrapped, um, you know, uh, uh, diaper on his face. And then he's coming with baby uh, washcloths, a baby um, towel. So he's got the washcloths and towels. I hope you can see that. And then his things he's coming with is an Elmo toy, an Elmo bottle, and then an extra diaper. That's what he comes with. All right. His price I was asking was $400. I'm dropping him to 300, you guys, 300 and the shipping included the flat rate shipping. So again, he'll be $323. All right, and, and definitely worth it, you guys. Definitely worth it. Like I said, he'll have the little mitts and the nook in. All right, and then we'll unwrap the other one. And I had named him uh, Raven. Um, Raven Ray it was the name for him. That's the name of the other one I have now. Now we'll unwrap this one. And this one is the newborn size. This one was the recreation of my son. I'm sure you guys have already seen these videos. Again, he's coming with this flannel blanket by Gerber. It came in a pack. So he's got this one, and as you see, he's fully dressed too, his face wrapped like that, and I do have the hands covered, because this outfit, you could cover the hands, that one you couldn't. So I just want him really protected, but we'll go ahead and take off his diaper off the face, and again, I'll put all of that back on, and he has a hat too, he's got brown eyes, um, he, uh, he came with like kind of a, um, a foam, or kind of, I, not foam, kind of like a, Caribbean blue, 
So if you like that better, I'll put the Caribbean blue in, but he comes with the brown eyes. I think he looks better with the brown with the black rooted um, eyebrows and all of that. But again, I'll switch it out for you if you want the color that came with him. Um, I can actually show that. I'll pop it up on the screen here, what they look like, the color, and I'll show you the color. I'm just going to automatically send it with this one, but that one, I would switch the eyes and keep the brown ones. I would keep the brown, okay? But he comes in this brand new outfit from Walmart. It is a newborn size. The bib is new. The hat is new. The nook is, is new. He comes with a second nook. I'll go over all that, but let me show you him. Again, he was a recreation of my son. That's why he has got more red tones to him because my baby was prematurely born and he is gorgeous. Look at him, you guys. Look at those rosy cheeks and the rosy forehead, the rooted eyebrows and everything. Now he does have, like I said, coming as a boo-boo because he had a few little flaws. I'm going to uh, link the video down below so I don't have to get him undressed again. It was just on um, the little piece right here, I think, but it's covered with the eyebrow, a little piece there. A little piece on the eye right there where it peeled, but he will not peel anymore. Um, he's got a little tiny piece on his back, but it's covered and sealed completely. I use Fuse FX paints and silicone velvet. And then on his feet, he had a little spot here and one there, a little bit of the peeling. But again, I will link that video down below so you can just see what I'm talking about. Um, but he's going, you know, as a boo-boo, but they're not really boo-boos. I mean, they're so minute, you can't even tell because I painted over it and sealed him. I mean, look at this face. He is gorgeous. And I love him with the brown eyes. But if you like the Caribbean blue, I'll give you those instead. If you do, I just don't think they look as realistic as these ones do. These ones are more realistic, look, you know, looking. But, and he also has a cherry birthmark I purposely did on the elbow. He does have a mole in the bottom of his foot because my son had that. So I needed to do a few things, such as give him the brown eyes, give him the rooted black eyebrows because my son was blonde and blue-eyed. Give him the cherry birthmark on the back of the arm, a little bit of a raised cherry birthmark. Again, it'll be in the video. You can watch it. Um, just so that when I sold him, I wasn't selling my own son because it was so hard to let him go. He is a bald baby, but he's got all the veining. You see, I did the veining on him as well. There's his beautiful ears. And all of that. And, you know, don't get scared away. I know some people say, what is wrong with that baby? Why is he so red? He is looking more red than he will look in person. I do believe you're going to love him. But as you see, that's his blushing. You know, I did the blushing on him because when they handed my baby to me, he had just come out of the heat lamp. I thought he was burnt. I thought it was something was wrong. But they said, no, he's a preemie. And he's just really flushed. He was really flushed. So I copied it from a photo exact, you know. And so, yeah, he's just beautiful. But he's also got a onesie on, brand new socks. That all comes with him as well. And he'll come with um, the Cookie Monster toy. And he comes with a Cookie Monster bottle. And he comes with the washcloth as well. The baby towel. And an extra diaper for him too. He's got a diaper on and an extra nook. He gets the green nook. I hope you see all that. He's got the blue one and the green one. So he comes with all of that. Now I was originally asking $600 for him. Then I dropped it to $500. I'm going to drop him one more time to uh, 400 So 400 bucks for a full body silicone baby. Uh, very minute, um, like I said, flaws with him. Uh, he's not really a boo-boo. Boo-boo would be like messed up like, you know, the finger was ripped off or he was tore. None of that. He's not tore or ripped, but I just call him that just because of the few um, peeling spots because he was really hard to seal, but I figured it out and sealed him and he's perfect now. Don't worry. I wouldn't sell him like that if I wasn't, you know, very confident that he's going to be okay um, but that's why, but I will drop him to 400. I originally wanted six. I'll drop him to 400. Again, I would be willing for him to do a trade, a silicone trade. If you had a real, you know, cute silicone baby that I liked again, if you got one that you're just not interested in anymore and you'd like to do a trade, I would do a trade on him or her. This one, I do want to just go ahead and sell this one. Cause this one doesn't, you know, there's nothing wrong with any of these babies. It's just that this one here being a reborn, I'm really trying to, uh, you know, uh, because I don't want her just sitting here. I'm really get, trying to find a good home for her. That's what I want is a really good home for her because I just feel bad her sitting back there. And then this one, of course, being more of a red baby, um, I just, you know, if somebody wants to do a trade, I find him beautiful because he was my son, a recreation of my son. Um, and I do find people that really love him, that coloration. So either 400 with all he comes with, or we may talk about a trade if you have a trade. I do have an email. I'll link it right here on the screen. Um, and you can just email me and show me the baby you have for either one for a trade. You can just let me know which one you're interested in. Otherwise, then I'm just dropping the price. So from 1000 to 600 with all the accessories or to 400 going as a flat rate with just a few items then. And the free shipping is only in the U.S. for all the stuff that comes with her. This one here was originally 
uh, five. I dropped it to four. I'm now dropping it to three. This one was originally six. I dropped it to five and now I'm dropping it to four. This one or this one, I'd be willing to do a trade if it was a silicone baby. I've seen people do it all the time. So that being said, I hope you guys do find these babies pretty. I hope you want to buy them. And then after that, I'm going to be buying more. You see how beautiful my babies are. That is how I'm going to paint those babies. It's going to be more like this one, you know, with the paint job. It's just I had to do him red to recreate my son because he was staying in my collection for me. Now I have one I'm going to redo. It's going to be red just like him. So because I'm recreating my son. But the other ones will be painted like you guys are saying. My babies are so beautiful. That's how it'll be once I get a couple sold. I'll buy two more. I'll always have a boy and a girl. Not They don't even have to be the same baby, but I'll always have a boy and a girl. I am selling them bald, but I, um, you know, for right now or whatever, once I get better at that uh, rooting and stuff, but right now I'm bald. And I will be selling my babies between the price of three and 400 is going to be the price of them. And if it does have the rooting, if I do the rooting, if somebody's interested in the rooting, I do it, then it's going to be more of a $500 baby. If it's a blonde baby, it has to be even a little bit more because blondes are really hard to root. Like it takes a long time because you have to put a lot of hair. You know, you have to do a lot of hair for you to be able to see it. But that is this video. And she also can go into a flat rate and be even cheaper at 400 Or if you have a trade that I might be interested in, um, I'd be willing to do that. Um, but of course, it would be have to be somebody that I've been watching and stuff like that. I want to feel confident about it. Don't want to send a baby out if I don't know who the person is and all of that. Uh, so then you would have to buy it. You know, we just need to be careful in the silicone world too. People can be scammed and all that. I definitely don't want to be scammed. So, but anyways, that's the deal. I wanted to go over it one more time for Baby Talk Tuesday and tell you about my babies and dropping the price on them. They're beautiful. We need to find good homes for these babies. So this one will come with the green eyes so you can change them so you know the size. It'll come with the green. And then this one here, just let me know. Um, like I said, I had the Caribbean. In fact, I'll show you the Caribbean ones. I just don't think that they look realistic, though. That's why I put the brown in. I didn't, you know, I wanted him to have more realistic eyes. Um, um, actually, you know what? Let me show you something. I can do those or I can do the blue. I actually have blue eyes that are kind of like the brown ones he has in. So if you like those, I can give him blue eyes. I forgot. I could do the blue. So let me put them in my hand here. These ones would be better quality and look more realistic is what I mean. They're like the brown ones he has in. Okay. So I've got, let me put them up here. I've got the blue. These would look more realistic. Definitely. These are more that like kind of almost have the iris in it. These ones here are almost like a wood. I don't know. They're like a wood eye and they're like a Caribbean blue. But if you like it, I could put that in the baby or I can put the blue in. You just let me know if you want. Um, uh, you know what? I think I will just send these with. I'll just send these. But if you want the blue, let me know. And then I will just trade them out for the brown and I'll keep the brown. But I will send the brown and these. If you want these, then I'll just trade it out. So just let me know. So I hope you're watching this video. Hope you understand. I will do that if you want to. With those, I'll trade out. I do want to keep the brown ones then. But the Caribbean blue, I'll just send with them. That's what I'll do. So you guys can change them if you want to. But all right, you guys, that's the deal. I hope you're interested, and I really hope that these babies, like I said, get a good home. They definitely need a good home, and I just, you know, I'm praying to God. I'm a, you know, God-fearing woman, praying to God real deep that I get, um, you know, my business off the ground. I'm very excited. I've had people tell me, you're so good at silicone painting. You know, you're an artist. I've painted many things throughout my life. I do nail art. I mean, I could paint portraits on fingernails, so I'm very good at it, and I just was told that you got to do this as a business, so that's why I want to. So we're going to get rid of the ones out of my collection first, and then I'm going to start making all the beautiful babies I have. I will be buying them and painting and selling them and stuff like that. I will get more into customs later on down the road, you know, um, rooting hair, stuff like that, and then... Um, maybe even doing some ethnic, but that's all down the road right now. I want to learn all of that myself first. But other than that, you guys, let's find a good home for these. If you know somebody that wants a baby, let them know, please. And please help this channel to grow. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit that, you know, that like button if you enjoy it. Um, send me any and all comments down below. Share around the channel for me, please, to help it to grow. And definitely, you know, um, uh, shoot us a thumbs up, a thumbs up if you're enjoying all these videos. And also, if you could subscribe too, I'll put it up on the screen here. It's Nanny's Reborn's Nanny's Reborn Nursery. Once she hits 1,000 and she's like 10 subs away from that, she's going to be doing a giveaway. So definitely check out her channel. She's a wonderful lady, and I'd like to just do a shout out for her. And um, another one I'd like to shout out, I don't, it's Blessings. I'm going to put it up on the screen here. I don't remember, honey. I'm sorry. Blessings Reborn 
There's three. I think it is. I'm going to throw it up on the, on the screen here. I love watching her. I love her. She's really phenomenal as well. And she's also an artist and is doing silicone babies and paint some and stuff like that. And please help her as well to get, you know, uh, you know, things for her soul and stuff like that and help her in her journey of her business as well. So blessings to all of you guys. You know, like I always say, God bless you all. I hope everybody's staying safe, happy and healthy. And as always, leaning on the Lord. Everybody take care and God bless.